Cody. My little princess. Oh, let me look at you, girl. Oh my God, what a beautiful young woman you've become. Just as pretty as ever. Little sad and lost. Like the first time I saw you. You can't even imagine how much I missed you. And how's I did? Oh, yeah. Uh, good to see you too, buddy. Walk with me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was worried. I'd be looking for you. I had to run away. I, mean, I had no choice. And you? What are you working on? I'm running a small group. We're trying to classify types of entities, see if they're different species, that kind of thing. It's not the highest priority, but I get to do what I want. <laughs> How's Nathan? Oh, he's the big boss now. He's running the DPA. <laughs> He's come a long way since the days of our little lab. Have they made any progress on the info world? Oh, they've sunk millions into developing a new condenser, the most powerful ever created. Of course, that was only possible once the army got involved. What I talked to you about? Did you find out anything? The day you were born, a woman named Nora Gray had a child in the DPA hospital. Her child was declared stillborn. What else did you learn about her? Not much. All I know is that she took part in the DPA research program some 20 years back. She also had a gift. Did you learn anything about him? His name was Jonathan Nichols. He died before birth. Heart failure. That's all I could find. Where is Nora now? She was interned in a psychiatric hospital just after she gave birth. According to her file, she should still be there now. Sorry, Jody. I've got to go see her. Jody, I know how you feel, but she's in a mental hospital. You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. I mean, don't you understand? She's my mother. If I could look her in the eye, I could find out who I truly am. Jody. She's in a high security DPA facility and you're wanted by every law enforcement agency in the country. You won't be able to walk right in. Nothing's gonna stop me from seeing her. Look. You've taken a huge risk. Thank you, Cole. Hey. You didn't think I was gonna let you go alone, did you? Jody. No guard on gate. Empty parking lot. Something doesn't feel right. I'm not back in 30 minutes. Just go. Girl, I didn't come here to wait in no car. Cole, Cole, wait.
gets them every time. Hey, um, I've come to see Nora Gray. Can I see your authorization? Can you help me out? Look, she's my mother. I haven't seen her in... I'm sorry. All visitors must have the correct authorization. Founder, Nora Gray, seventh floor, room 43. Hey, there's no call button. Maybe it's behind the desk. First. Jesus. Crazy folk really freaked me out. Can we find room 43 and get the hell out of here? Cole! Found it! I'll wait here. Jody, she may have lost her mind. She might not even know you're there. Maybe you shouldn't go in. Huh? 
Mom, it's me. Judy. Help me, Aiden. won't be able to, Nora. Let us take care of everything. It's for the best. You know that. Let's my baby! Bring her back! I've changed my mind! I want my baby! It's a danger, quickly! Please! Get the baby out of here! Let us know as soon as anything unusual happens. Decrease the dose. Make sure she never regains consciousness.
just be with you. Jody. Powerful condenser ever created. Impressive, isn't it? Nathan! Jody, oh. it's good to see you. I was so afraid something happened to you. You've lost weight. You look exhausted. But at least you're alive. Let's go into my office. Please, have a seat. How do you feel? <laughs> um, I've been better. That hit on the head did not help. No, I'm sorry. I told them not to hurt you. They just didn't want to give you a chance to use Ivan. What happened to my mother, Nathan? Nora was unstable. They were afraid she was a danger to herself and her baby. My mother would never hurt me. They couldn't take that chance, look. I was a researcher at the DPA, Jody. I didn't discover until much later what happened. Where's Cole? He's at home, he's fine. I know he was trying to help you. Don't worry, there won't be any consequences for last night. Why did you never tell me about my mother? Why did you hide the truth all these years? I tried to tell you. But how do you tell a little girl that her life isn't real? So, I looked after you. Loved you. Tried to protect you as best as I could. So now what? You're just gonna hand me back to the CIA? Is that the plan, Nathan? They brought you here because they have something for you to do, and they'd be very grateful if you do it. Help them? You want me to help the people that took away my mother and stole my life? I mean, haven't I done enough? We know another country has discovered the infraworld. They think it's something to be controlled or manipulated. They have no idea what they're dealing with. If entities enter our world, do you know what that would mean, Jody? What has all this got to do with me? Because you know the infraworld better than anyone. It's the CIA's job. And I'm done with that. They want to offer you a deal. You do this for them, and they let you out, you're free. Jody, do you know what would happen if a passage is open? It'll be the apocalypse. 
You have the power to stop this. <laughs>